generation iron app on Google Play and the App Store. I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. How do you feel about the progress of a division? Because I know it started a few years ago at Mountain Olympia, obviously on the top stage in the world, right? How do you feel like uh, the progress yes. that, is, that, is, that actually happened to it? And also, what do you think is heading in the future? Because it seems like now, you know, obviously guys like you, you know, you, you know the big guys, do you feel like it will need to be like a different divisions within the wheelchair division going forward? Because there's so many different competitors joining and we have different body types too, you know? Yeah, you know, Nick, you know, Nick really did a really good job launching this deal from day one, you know? Um, being a competitor or being a top competitor in this group, you know, I'm looking at it in so many different angles. Um, it has, it's been a decade. So the first, our first pro show was like 2010 and 11. It's 2020. So it's 10 years. It's 10 years in the running. Um, I do wish we have made a lot of progress from just the uh, Texas class, Texas pro. Then we got to the Arnold stages. Now we on Olympia, you know, we was on Olympia um, at the um, conference center, um, the convention center. Now we on Olympia stage. So we have made progress. Um, there's a lot more room for progress, especially with the monetary gain, the monetary side of it. Um, a lot of people look at the wheelchair class as inspirational, you know, uh, inspiring. Um, at the same time, the realization of it is a lot, of, a lot of us, you know, a lot of guys, you know, we are disabled now. Think about it. We're disabled. Do we have full fledged jobs? Are we getting the top dollar jobs to pay for all of this stuff to go to these shows? And so a lot of guys don't have these jobs. We don't have these jobs. So let me ask you this question. Why would it make sense not to these big corporations donate more funds towards this group? And they're not. Why, why aren't these uh, the big names, the big um, promoters, you know, putting the allocating the funds, you know, nonprofit organization, why didn't they write those checks to the, these guys so that we're able to do this and to be inspiring? They're not. Um, we're here, but it feels like we're not here. And, you know, a lot of guys are getting kind of frustrated with it. We talk about it a lot and we love, you know, bodybuilding and that's what we were doing for a passion. But at the same time, it costs. Just like the regular, got regular bodybuilding, it costs. Don't get me wrong. But um, it just has to be a fair uh, distribution um, that towards our class also to be at these facilities and also having us, you know, having our, 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 our likeness up also to see that we're here also, you know, and I, and I, I get it. It takes time to get there. I get it. I definitely do get it, but it has been 10 years. It haven't been two, three, four, five. It's been 10 years, been a decade that we've been here. But again, we, we were just having the first interview and we've been doing this 10 years already. You see what I'm saying? No, no, for sure, for sure. But you know, to, to be frank, yeah. I think maybe maybe the promoters they look at it like you know, let's give them the stage just so if something you know, like like almost like let's appeal to them. But, but is there an audience for it? You know what I'm saying? Do the audience want to see it? And yeah. I, I feel like actually, you know, I, I'm definitely paying more attention to it now. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's actually very interesting, and it's interesting to yeah. see how maybe it's the year, you know, but it's been everybody since over, overcoming a lot of things. But like I feel like now it's like. I'm opened up my eyes too, you know what I mean? And I actually want to learn more about this. Right. I feel like the more the audience will be right. in, the more the promoters will see it, the, the more will, they will invest into it. I mean, it's kind of like how it is, right? When it comes to all divisions. Exactly. Yeah. The more the promoters see our interest, people that want to come see this, then they'll be more subject to, you know, making more moves towards that. And I, I get it. I definitely understand it. And, and I love it myself. Like I said, I'm gonna keep myself, um, you know, up that 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 look that when they see me, they go like, "Oh, he's a bodybuilder." They won't be like, "Oh, you know, uh, let's let them do something because in the wheelchair." No, they're gonna look at me and respect me as a bodybuilder because when they see my physique, they're like, "Oh, wow, that dude be putting in work." And then, so that's what I want to bring. I want to, I want to bring that to where it's one of the by like Phil Dexter. Uh, any guys take a knee beside me, we do a double lap, double bicep. I want them to be like, oh, wow, okay, this dude's, you know, competing with these guys. So that's where I'm looking at myself to care myself to do. I'm nowhere near that. So that's why I'm going to continue to grow, develop, learn, and, and take my class to that point to where we are forced to be reckoned with.
What is your uh, routine like? What is your daily routine like, you know, uh, from eating to the regimen to the training? How does it usually go? Man, um, and like I said, uh, uh, we, we, I'm, I have a, a car shop. I have a car shop and I have a gym. So I'm busy all day. I'm, I'm do my workout in the morning. I get up uh, four-ish, five in the morning. Um, uh, my wife, she manages the gym. So I get her ready to go. I cook the breakfast. I cook my meals for the day. Then I take it to the gym with me. We work out around, around eight until around 11. 11, um, get my meal, go to my shop. I'm at my shop from my 11.30 all the way up until around around seven ish and um at that time if i'm getting ready for a competition i may do cardio later but if i'm not getting ready for a competition then i may be done for like eight and then i may shoot by the studio check on my wife check on the studio and then back at the house you know with the family because like i have three children but my two oldest they are at the house i got a young one he's 14. so you know check with him or either he'll come to the shop after school and then you know get ready for the next day and that's like that's almost like six days, six days a week. Oh yeah, six days a week. Um, like just now, I'm I left this my shop, had my guys doing what they need to do to come over here to do this. I'm in my studio, and then once I get finished here, I'm gonna check on a few things that a uh, few parts I gotta pick up and take back to the shop because you're working on like, a few projects right now, getting ready to be, trying to finish them up for Christmas.